In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Let us rejoice in the Lord with songs that us praise, praise him. Name. Come ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that us hail the Lord. Let us let rejoice, rejoice in the, in the Lord, Lord who with songs, songs let us praise him. him. The mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his sign are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea for he made it and the dry land shed by his hands. Let, let us, us rejoice in the Lord, Lord with songs let, let us praise him. him. Amen, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us let rejoice, rejoice in, in the Lord, Lord with songs, songs let, let us, us praise him. him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let, let us rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord with songs, songs let, let us praise, praise him. him. For oh, forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways, and I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Let us let rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord with songs, songs let, let us praise him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us rejoice in the Lord, in the Lord with songs, with let, songs us let us praise him. Hymn 375. Bless us, peace, the blessed Martha, holy, holy women, women, holy, holy men, men, with our love, love and admiration, greet we your return, return again. Worthy are these are theirs, wonders, and wonders, wonders worthy, worthy of the, of the name, name they bore. We, we with joyful praise, praise and singing, sing. honor, honor them forevermore. Faith and prevailing, prevailing, hope and failing, a loving Christ with single, single heart, heart. Thus they, glorious and victorious, bravely bore the martyr's part. By contempt of every anguish, I am yielded in battle done. Victors at the last day triumph, with the host of angels won. Therefore all that reign in glory, strong and sure with Christ on high, to join to ours your supplication, when before him we draw nigh. Praying, praying that, that this life completed, or its fleeting moments past, by his grace, grace we, we may be worthy of eternal, of eternal bliss, bliss at, at last. In the morning, Lord, you will you fill us, us with your love. love. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth. You are God, which have our beginning or end. You turn men back into dust, and say, go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh, our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, feel sweet your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Do forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on the children. 
Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In, in the morning, morning Lord, Lord, you fill us, fill us with your love. love. Let the praise of the Lord resound from the winds Sound of the, the earth. earth. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise to the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the coastlands and the inhabitants. Let the desert and its cities lift up their voice, the villages the cottage to inhabit. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a mighty man, like a man of war. He stirs up his fury. He cries out, he shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I've held my peace. I've kept still and restrained myself. Now I will walk cry out a woman in travail. I'll gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbage. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools. And I will lead the blind in a way that they know not, in parts that they have not known. I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let the, the praise, praise of the, of the Lord, Lord resound from the ends, the ends of the earth. Dead. Praise the name of the Lord, you who stand, stand in the house, house of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, praise him servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for his loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. I know the Lord is great. And our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the sea. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he spoke, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness is struck, and kings in their splendor is slew. Zion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise, Praise the, name the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. You stand, stand in, the in the house of the Lord. Lord. A reading from the book of Judah. Remember that our fathers were put to the test to prove their love of God. Remember how my, our father Abraham was tested and became the friend of God after many trials and tribulations. The same was true of Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and all those who met with God's favor. They remained steadfast in the face of tribulations of every kind. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Sing to him a new song. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. 
Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. For his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. We swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, the, be Lord, the Lord, for he has, for he has visited us, us and freed us. And freed us. Almighty Father, the heavens cannot hold your greatness, yet through your Son we have learned to say, Father, may your kingdom come. We praise you as your children. May your name be kept holy in the hearts of all mankind. Father, may your kingdom come. Help us to live in the hope of heaven today. Make us ready to do your will on earth. Father, may your kingdom come. Give us the day the courage to forgive others as you forgive us our trespasses. Father, may your kingdom come. Father, be with us in all our trials. Do not allow us to fall away from you. Father, may your kingdom come. O oh, Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. I will, I be, will done be done on earth as it is heaven. in heaven. Give us give to stay this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Lord God, who entrusted the earth to mankind to till it and care for it, and made the sun to serve their needs, Give us grace this day to work faithfully for your glory and for our neighbour's good. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today, all in all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father. Father we thank, we thank you, you for every priest, priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give we thanks, thanks to those priests priest who have brought us your word, us your word of truth, truth, the grace, grace of the sacraments, and above, above all, all the supreme gift, gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, him, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions to the priest in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives to love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everybody. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave St. Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and vigilant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. On the subject of instructions, I cannot say that you have done well in holding meetings that that do you more harm than good. In the first place, I hear that when you all come together as a community, there are separate factions among you, and I half believe it since there must no doubt be separate groups among you to distinguish those who are to be trusted. The point is, when you hold these meetings, it is not the Lord's Supper that you are eating, since when the time comes to eat, everyone is in such a hurry to start his own supper that one person goes hungry while another is getting drunk. Surely you have homes for eating and drinking in. Surely you have enough respect for the community of God not to make poor people embarrassed. What am I to say to you? Congratulate you. I cannot congratulate you on this. For this is what I received from the Lord and in turn passed on to you, that on the same night that he was betrayed, The Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this as a memorial of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. So to sum up, my dear brothers, when you meet for the meal, wait for one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Proclaim Proclaim the death death of the Lord Lord until until he comes. comes. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Proclaim Proclaim the the death death of the Lord Lord until until he he comes. comes. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depths of my heart. Proclaim Proclaim the death death of the the Lord Lord until he comes. comes. Your dust as I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. Proclaim Proclaim the the death death of the the Lord Lord until until he comes. comes. O let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, the Lord is great who love your saving help. Proclaim Proclaim the the death of the Lord Lord until until he comes. comes. 
Let us stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had come to the end of all he wanted the people to hear, he went into Capernaum. A centurion there had a servant, a favorite of his, who was sick and near death. Having heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him to ask him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. He deserves this of you, they said, because he is friendly towards our people. In fact, he is the one who built the synagogue. So Jesus went with them and was not very far from the house when the centurion sent word to him by some friends. Sir, he said, do not put yourself to trouble because I am not worthy to have you under my roof. And for the same reason, I did not presume to come to you myself, but give the word and let my servant be cured. For I am under authority myself and I have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes. To another, come here, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these words, he was astonished at him. And turning round, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found faith like this. And when the messengers got back to the house, they found a the servant in perfect health. The Gospel of the Lord. celebrate the feast of St. Cornelius and Cyprian today. Cornelius was elected Bishop of Rome in 251 and two years later died in exile in Civita Vecchia in Italy. Supported by Cyprian, he defended the power of the church to reconcile those who had lapsed under persecution. Cyprian died in Carthage in Tunisia. A lawyer, teacher, and adult convert he was elected Bishop of Carthage in 249. He took a moderate position on the reconciliation of the lapsed that demanded the rebaptism of heretics, even though their baptism was recognized by the Church of Rome. Cornelius and Cyprian are both remembered as compassionate pastors who developed the church's teaching and practice of reconciliation. Antagonists in theological debate they were united in sharing the crown of martyrdom and are named together in Eucharistic prayer one of the Roman canon. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, by your spirit, show us more clearly that you are the Christ, the son of the living God, and may we never boast save in your cross. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saint Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts they gave them that gave them the courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and death are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs St. Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.